Welcome to Textonation. Joining us is Gene White, Senior Product Manager at Works, W-O-R-X. Thanks for being here, Gene. Fred, thank you for having me. I'm delighted to be here. Well, Works has been really doing some innovation when it comes to its battery technology and how it's used in, in a variety of power tools for inside and out. Uh, tell us about the, the latest strategy that you have. You've moved up, to, I guess, to sort of a higher voltage system. Sure. Uh, we're working with 20-volt uh, batteries. That is called our Power Share program. And those 20-volt batteries sit on... We practically have every tool that we make in a 20-volt option. That's outdoor products, uh, lawnmowers, uh, trimmers, hedge trimmers, uh, and we're looking at more and more every day. And then those same batteries sit over on our uh, powered hand tools, such as the sander we'll talk about today, oh, drills, oscillating tools, uh, saws, pretty much you name it, um, we can we can put a battery on it. And I guess the, the advantages of, uh, of using a common battery system are, are, are pretty obvious here for, for owners. And they're good for works, sure. too, because people are going to buy... <laughs> You're going to stay in the works family, I guess, when they're out shopping. Right, yeah. Um, you know, years ago, we we started out uh, as works. Uh, our our first, I guess you'd call it big project, was a, a string trimmer, um, a 20-volt string trimmer with with the, uh, the battery. And we were quite successful with that. And a lot of folks purchased that string trimmer, loved it, and had the battery. So... As we started developing this PowerShare program, uh, every tool we offer has a battery option or just what we call a, a tool-only option because a lot of folks have our batteries and would rather not have to buy more batteries if they could get some tool that they wanted and, and just already have the battery. So that's why we try to stay with uh, one battery platform, multiple tools. But... We have gotten into some bigger tools that need more power than, say, a 20-volt might be able to to manage. Again, um, a bigger lawnmower or uh, a more powerful string trimmer. So we've gotten into some 40-volt platform and 56-volt. Um, so, yeah, that that's growing. And, and this is uh, the trend. The, the cordless tool market has just exploded in the past 20 years. And as technologies with batteries get better, uh, I, I don't see the trend stopping at all. Just just like with cell phones, you know. The, you used to have your little flip phone or those. I had a car phone one time. You had to carry it in like a bag because right. the battery was so big. <laughs> <laughs> but the batteries are getting better, stronger, more durable, and smaller. And, yeah, we'll and, keep, and there are times when, when if more power is needed, as uh, as you have with uh, one of your newer uh, trimmers, and, and edgers, uh, you can actually use two batteries instead of one. So yeah, that, yeah, and that yeah. keeps you going for longer. Well, let's talk yeah. about the a product that really is in your wheelhouse here. You've got a brand new product called the Works 20 Volt Power Share Five in One Sand Deck Multi Sander. Uh, give us <laughs> an a overview. Mouthful. Yeah, it is. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah. It it's it is a a sanding machine let's say, uh, powered by a 20-volt battery. Uh, but it's got uh, sanding pads, uh, alternatives. So you can go from maybe, mm, let's say, a picnic table uh, that you want to repaint. There's just going to be a lot of paint you want to get off. So we've got a, a random orbit pad, 5-inch random orbit, that'll, that'll fit. But basically, if you flip up a lever and turn it a few times, you can switch over to a, a quarter sheet pad. Um, and then again, you can change over to a, a like a detail pad. It always looks like the bottom of an iron to me, but that's what I'm talking about is that that pad with a, a narrow point, and that's for getting into close spots, you know, or um, right up into corners, that kind of thing. And then in addition to that, we have a couple of little attachments that can fit on the the point, let's say, of of the detail pad. One of one of the the attachments is a finger. Sander, it's just a really narrow little pad that can get up in just about any spot. And as an alternative, we have what we call a contour sanding attachment. And it's kind of got a, uh, like a flexible aspect to it 
So if you have to sand, say, spindles, uh, stair, stair spindles or some some convex little surface, uh, it'll work real well for that. So a lot so of that, versatility you built into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, the versatility and also the convenience. Sometimes, like if you are outside sanding the, let's say, the, again, the picnic table out under the tree, huh, you can make it run maybe three extension cords, but it's just so much easier and quicker just to be able to grab the sander, the whole kit, take it out there, and, and you can do do the entire project as far as sanding and then repaint the darn thing. <laughs> so, um, And a lot of folks, you know, need sanders. They do craft work or little stuff now and then, but they don't have a lot of space. So you have like five different sanders, all in, that fits all in one bag, and so uh, it saves some space. And uh, some money, too, because you're, you're buying one sander that can do so many things. So. I guess what some folks might wonder is, okay, if I'm going to go with a battery-operated uh, sander like this, am I really going to be able to get the job done on a charge? Um, and I guess it depends on how big the job is. But well, generally yeah. speaking, I mean, you've designed these to really run for the length of time that, that they're needed. Yeah, this, this sander comes with a two amp hour battery, so it, it's got it's got a pretty good amount of runtime. Um, and of course, we do have options with with higher voltages of batteries, 40 volt or or whatever. But um, to to stay with what your question, you know, you can you can maximize the runtime for any tool really by by managing the load. And with a sander, it's especially important to remember that. The pad does the work, so and, and the movement of the pad does the work. Pressure on the pad just makes the sander work harder, but it doesn't really help with the sanding. So um, just putting a light touch on the sander and letting it do the work will extend your runtime. Of course, there's a lot of other variables. The material that you're working with, the, the grit, the level of grit on the sanding pad, the little fine grit that takes off just a tiny little bit at a time doesn't doesn't drain the sander's power as much as say a big coarse grit on a on a heavy heavy material um and then of course even little things like temperature and how how what speed you're running it how often you turn it on, on and off all that kind of affects the runtime so um i could give you maybe a range of per battery m real heavy usage might you might see 20 minutes 25 minutes light usage uh, you know conservative usage you see maybe 40 45 and that doesn't sound like a, a lot but with sanding there's a lot of starting and stopping and uh, so continuous use for 45 minutes that's a lot of sanding you can accomplish a lot if you never turn that sander off and just keep going but most folks have to stop rearrange the material you know rearrange their their uh how their hands are positioned, all that, and so that that gives the sander a little time to rest and the battery a little time to rest, and um, works out great. And you help out too in controlling the the sawdust that's generated here. Tell us about that. Oh well, the the sander has two options for. Uh, I should be saying the Sandex sander. Uh, it, it, there's a bag, and uh, the sand uh, um, sawdust can flow right into the bag. But if you're, say, working inside the shop or you really don't have to fool with the bag, you just want all the sawdust to disappear, there is a vacuum option. It's a little adapter that fits right onto the tool, and then you can hook up a, uh, a wet-dry vac or, or a sawdust vacuuming system and just pull that sawdust right up through the, through the holes in the pad and, and right out the, the back of the sander and uh, to whatever's collecting it. Very handy. And yeah. You can you can have multiple batteries handy to to swap out uh, in the event you've got a bigger job that's going to take longer. And the chances are, if you've got other works uh, tools or outdoor equipment, the, you might have that extra battery on hand. Yeah, we sure hope everybody does. And and you're right. Think ahead. Uh, maybe have uh, an extra battery or two on hand. And and it's a matter of then of just pushing a button and, and sliding the battery off and clicking a, a fresh battery on, um, and any, 
any configuration of a works battery in the in the 20 volt um, will work. So we've we've got like a one and a half amp hour option, two amp hour option, and we're now getting into four and six hour amp hour options. So you put a big old battery like a four or a six amp hour, and this this sander's gonna <laughs> it'll go for a while, but uh, the the 2.0 amp hour battery is what comes with it. Terrific. Now, tell us about the pricing and and availability. You're all over the place, I know. Yeah, we're getting there. This is a very new product, so um, it's it's only uh, uh, found found its home in a couple places so far. The Amazon has it, um, and certainly any time for any of our products, you can go on Works.com and and get it. And if you want more batteries, or say a drill or something, just just load them all on there and. We'll sure ship them out. Um, so that's that. To my knowledge, is our listing so far. We are hopeful to uh, see it at Menards very soon. And um, I guess those, that's the conversation that has. And the pricing on this. Part uh, of, I can say. Well, the uh, without the battery, you'll see it at seventy nine dollars. If you want the battery, it's going to be up in the hundred to one hundred twenty dollar range. Terrific. And for more info, folks can go to works.com. It's W-O-R-X.com. Gene White, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Well, Fred, thank you. Uh, I tend to ramble, so if I've forgotten anything and anybody needs more information, uh, feel free to contact me directly or, or any one of us at Works. Now this. Innovation. Hi, I'm Fred Fishkin, and I've been covering consumer technology for a long time, and it takes a lot to impress me. That's why I'm excited to tell you about the latest way to enjoy cooking in the great outdoors for my friend Patrick Sherwin and his great team at Go Sun Stove. What if you could harness the sun to cook your meals anywhere you go, day or night? The Go Sun Fusion arrives this summer using the company's tried and true reflectors and a solar vacuum tube to get you cooking without the mess of charcoal, heavy propane tanks, or smoke. And with an optional solar panel and battery storage, and the ability to plug in at home or on the road, you really can use the GoSun Fusion to cook anytime and anywhere. Want to learn more? Head to GoSun.co and use the code TEXTANATION to save 10%. That's GoSun.co.